Hello everyone! The deck I'm bringing you this week is Despia. Despia is a deck that I tried to make it work in the past using Dogmatica engine, but overall it was just not cutting it to be able to face the meta threats. However, Despia got new support recently, and most importantly, they got Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. And so, here's my Despia decklist. The main objective of the deck is to make two Masquerade Dragons before your opponent's first turn and forcing them to take incredible amounts of burn damage if they do want to make an extensive combo. The main line of the deck starts with Branded Opening, which allows you to destroy the card and take one Despia monster from your deck and then special summon it in defense or add it to your hand. Also, you can banish it from the graveyard to protect one of your fusion monsters. Now, your typical target with Opening is Eluber, where when it's normal or special summoned, you can add a branded spell trap from your deck to your hand. You can either add the field spell, which is also a fusion and also gives you some protection if your monsters are destroyed by reviving another monster from your graveyard, or you can get branded in red, which is a quick play fusion spell which allows you to also get a Despia monster from your graveyard, but you have to get a Despia monster from your graveyard, which can be its only downside. But what are the Despia monster you use to fusion summon? Other than Oliver, we have Tragedy, which is when sent to graveyard or banished by a card effect, let's say by a fusion spell such as your field spell, polymerization, branded in red, or super poly. It can add a Despia monster from your deck to your hand. Also, if it's in your graveyard, you can banish it to set one branded spell trap from your graveyard to your field. The other good target is Dramaturge, which has an effect on field. When Fusion Synchro Axis or Linked Monster is special summoned, you can target a monster on the field and negate its effects, which allows you to negate the effects of the monster your opponent summons, but of course this effect is once per turn. And also, if this card, while on the field or hand, is used as a fusion material and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special summon it to your field. So, using Tragedy and Dramaturge for your fusion allows you to search with Tragedy and special summon Dramaturge to your field, which is a really good advantage engine. I also play one at Libitum, which, when used as a fusion material, revives one of your fusion monsters from your graveyard. That has to be level 8 or higher, which can be really good since we play a lot of fusion monsters that have high levels and have good effects. This should even revive Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer, if it's not reviving itself back by its own effects. And finally, I play Despian Comedy, which has a treat effect as a hand trap to negate an effect that targets, but also the second treat effect allows you to tribute a fusion monster to special summon it from the graveyard. And the only reason you might ever want to do that is if you have activated an effect and then your opponent activated something that targets at your monster, which allows you to use Comedy to send that fusion monster to the graveyard so you can dodge the targeting effect but it is very specific and you might not want to play Comedy depending on how your deck looks like. Other than that, I have two different engines jumped into this deck. First one is Fusion Destiny, of course, because Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer is still one of the best monsters in the meta, and since this deck slots you into fusions, there is no reason not to summon Phoenix Enforcer. And for Phoenix Enforcer, we are also playing Celestial and Dasher. The second engine I'm jumping in is the Fright for Patchwork engine, which this spell allows you to add an agent monster and polymerization from your deck to your hand. So we are playing two polymerizations with the threat for patchwork and we also play two agent chain, which is a dark monster when it is sent to the graveyard, you can add a threat for card from your deck to your hand which allows you to search patchwork. So this is an infinite loop where patchwork gets you polymerization and agent chain and you can use the polymerization to fusion summon a despia monster using agent chain as a material because it's a dark and when a gym chain is used to send to the graveyard, you can add another patchwork to your hand. If you're lucky, this can get you so many cards so quickly with almost no cost. And although Fright for Patchwork is once per turn, this combo is still great, and I'm playing that too, just because I don't want to draw multiples of Fright for Patchwork. Finally, we have many hand traps such as 3 Maxi and 3 Ash Blossom, 1 Effect Wailer, 2 Stralmeister to combat opposing DPEs, and then one Nibiru if they do want to take the Maxi challenge. I want to have something that just ends their turn immediately. Other good spells we have include Super Poly, which is great for this deck because we can pretty much fusion summon a Despia with a Light or Dark in order to make any of the Despia fusions. Or even just Star with Venom Fusion Dread and our Predator Planet Astalia might even work. 
Lightning Storm in order to combat Battle of Deaths, and then Troll by the Day in order to dodge hand traps. You should play more Troll by the Days, and you can change some of the glaciers, but this is roughly what the decks should look like. For the extra deck, we have two Masquerade, of course. You should even play three, although you do only need to summon two, but sometimes summoning a turret can win your games. I have one Turtleese because it's an Ultra Rare. You don't really need two Turtleys, but if you have, you should probably use it instead of the Lint Monsters. Because you do lock yourself into Fusion Monsters quite a bit. So Lint Monsters are optional in this deck, so if you do want to, you can cut some Lint Monsters to add a second Turtleys and a third Masquerade. I had the DP, of course, with Fusion Destiny. I had two Siren Man and Fusion Dragon, so I used both of them, because I do want to have multiple targets for Super Polymerization. Same with Protoplan Dredger Stapelia, which is a crit effect negate, and it's really good. And a Mud Dragon just as a Super Poly target. And then of course one Pros Canyon, which is a really good card, but it does require three materials, which is a bit high cost. I have Protoplan Vorta and Atronda. In order to activate either Fusion Destiny or Super Poly, Technically, you could even just activate normal polymerization if you really wanted to, but I think it's not better than Super Poly. And then I fill the rest of the extra deck with some Link Climbing Tarmers into Selene and into Arthastroth for an OTK. Or just a Nightmare Unicorn if I want to link Breath of Land Vorta and Atronda into something else after a while. But the Link Monsters are optional, and you should just play more Masquerades and Crocodiles if you want to. So, this is the deck list. And now. And now I'll show you how to play the stack in a duel. This is looking pretty nice for a starting hand. We'll start with a fretful patchwork, adding an edge of chain and a full memorization from my deck to our hands. Then we can normal summon a liver in order to activate his effect. And I will be searching for a branded in red, and you'll see why shortly. Then we'll follow that up with a polymerization in order to summon our first Master 8 Dragon. I want the Destria monster to be in the graveyard, so I'm not going to use the Dramator just yet. Instead, I'm going to use Agem Chain and Allure in order to special summon our Master 8 the Blazing Dragon. This will trigger the Agem Chain, adding a second threat for Patchforge in our hand so we can use that next turn. I will now set Branded in red and also set the Super Poly, and end my turn. I'll turn this on, and you'll see why in a little bit. In the draw phase, I will directly activate Branded in Red, getting back the Allure from my graveyard to my hand, and then immediately fusion summoning, using the Allure and the Dermaturge into a second Masquerade. And we can activate the Dermaturge, Reviving itself, so we have an negate and two dragons that is going to deal 600 damage every time they're going to activate a card. The bot is thinking very heavily. Oh, there we go, they want to activate something. We'll allow that. We're going to discard many cards to take some damage. And then they attack with the graveyard effect. And another graveyard effect. For both of which they take a lot of damage. Oh, a third one. There you go. This allows them to activate many effects, but for every effect they activate, they take 1200 damage, which allows you to chill your opponents very quickly. They will go into battle phase here, and I will be forced to activate my super polymerization, discarding the agent chain, in order to fusion summon using their monster as a material. I want to keep my dragon, so let's use Dramaturge and their biggest monster, in order to make Quartalese. And they're just going to be forced to end their turn. This is good as done. We can even use the Fusion Destiny in order to get the Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer to our field as well. We 
Okay, I'm gonna use attack of their monsters to zero with Core Fleece. And then just go into battle. And then win the game. At this point, they're in such low life points that even if I don't attack, they won't be able to activate any of their cards. But since we already have an attack, let's just end this game. And that's it for the deck. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing as I'm so close to 1400 subscribers and I cannot wait to get there. If you'd like to see my deck list or if you want to ask me some questions, feel free to join my Discord which link is in the description or comment below. I always read your comments and answer pretty frequently too. I also stream weekly and if you want more details about my streams, you can also find them in my Discord. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.